Hello friends, welcome to Elliot Crypto Corner's video. Today, we will start with the VeChain coin. Colleague VeChain worked its way up to the top by well over 15% in the last 7 days, and in the process also over the resistance at $0.0213. Although there were slight losses again as a result, the price is currently trading just above the aforementioned resistance line. We now primarily expect that the altcoin will soon establish itself above this mark in order to use the resulting momentum to advance the current way for Kyle. 3. In orange. As you can see on the two-day chart, VeChain, despite the quite extensive increases since the June low, continues to move within our blue trading area, BOX coordinates. $0.0420, $0.0 which can be used unchanged to trade in the long term to position on the long side. We place the overarching targets for the green wave, 3, within the target zone of the same color between $0.57 and $0.75. Our buddy Polygon seems to be increasingly getting used to our alternative, as it has once again achieved strong increases beyond 20% since last Wednesday. Accordingly, we have the probability of this alternative scenario in which the low of the wave is old. Con 2 would have been filed in magenta in October, now increased to 38%. However, this course would only be validated with a direct and sustained breakout above the resistance at $0.9430. For now, however, we still have to stick to our primary scenario. As a result, a sell-off into the orange target zone between $0.361 and $0.235 is still to be expected, before the altcoin should then really break out sustainably with the low of the wave. On to in magenta. Meanwhile, in the two-day chart, you can see that on a long-term time scale, we see the price marching up to the yellow target zone in the north, coordinates, $5, $7.90. However, at this point we must refer to our overarching alternative, in which a fresh cyclical bottom would develop below $0.3170. However, we believe such a strong sell-off is only 25% likely. Bitcoin has moved slightly higher in the chart since yesterday morning. We next want to see the price push above the November 2nd high at $36,023. With a clear overcoming of this top, we could then also remove our alternative, which is currently weighted with a probability of 30%, in which Bitcoin would sell into the turquoise target zone between $30,163 and $27,603 from the chart. Until then, this scenario remains valid, and any buy orders could be placed within the target zone. However, there should primarily be further significant increases as a result of the wave Han 3 in turquoise that has been running since September. Above all, as you can see from the daily chart, the turquoise upward structure that is currently being processed, within which the turquoise waves Han 4 and V should roll out, should complete the wave Han 3, which is one time level above it in orange. Ethereum tended to trend slightly downwards in the last few hours. Here, our primary scenario remains absolutely on track. As a result, there should be further increases in the course of the Green Wave 3, the high of which we expect to be well above the resistance line at $2,138. We still consider a sell-off into the orange target zone between $1,325 and $1,194 to be only 20% likely. If this scenario were to prevail, it would once again provide us with excellent buying opportunities, as sustained increases would also be expected following the well alt doctrine low. As you can see from the daily chart, we'd also place Ethereum in an overarching wave on 3 in orange, which is also likely to cause significant increases in the medium term. Our 30% alternative, in which the cryptocurrency would run a few more levels lower in order to establish a new correction low below the $883 mark, is not yet off the table. Thank you for watching our entire video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to watch our videos. Thank you, goodbye.